Good morning, all. It is currently Friday, January 19th. It's around 10.30 in the morning, and I wanted to pop on and actually work on some new things that I am hoping to do for a little shop update. Uh, it's a few days before my birthday, and I always love to run like a little sale on my shop just to spread some birthday cheer and hopefully share some of my art with the people who are looking into purchasing. So. I have been working on some things in the nighttime, like usually when I get off from work, and so that includes like a little like miniature food that I've been making, I have like a little birthday cake going, and my very first smiling ghost, so I'm very excited for that because they've all been just surprised before, so I have been having fun with that, but I also want to like finish the birthday cake, I want to work on like a little sticker sheet, and then I'm hoping to like take a bunch of product photos and then like hopefully get the listings already on my Shopify website. So that will probably take me a couple hours to get all of that done, but I figured I might as well vlog and have you guys come along with me so you can kind of see what all goes into like the product making slash listing and everything else. So I hope that you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. Apologies for a little bit of a messy office. We actually updated everything just recently. so. I am quite enjoying how the setup is looking now, but I will probably feature that in a future vlog. But for now, let's go ahead and get started on the craft. So these are the little things that I have crafted so far. If you've been watching some of my shorts, you might recognize some of the little... I have some pink frosted cookies that I've made. Um, ironically, I was inspired by my fiancé. This was kind of how we first started dating. Um, he ended up making me a plate of cookies like this and it was very sweet and obviously stole my heart because I really love food but <laughs> I thought it would be nice to for one make something like this and actually this is a little surprise but it's going to be his little gift for me for our anniversary but also I just thought it'd be fun to like include it to the shop as well because who doesn't like pink frosted cookies and then here's Princey as well who has been very interested in all the clay makings um, I've also been making this little box of chocolates, which that is done. I just need to bake these few things as well as my little fortune cookie ghost. And then this is actually what I'm working on right now is my first little smiling ghost. He's so cute. <laughs> Apologies for the breakaway. Um, if you were wondering what it is life to craft and live with a chaotic black cat, th that is it. Um, he will step on your clay things and yeah, I have to clean it off later. Uh, for those of you who end up purchasing one of these, um, no worries. It has been blessed by Prince. He obviously enjoyed it enough to step on it. So <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this little... Uh, birthday cake ghost is almost done as well. I'm just gonna add like a little bit of like a what am I trying to say? The inner part of the flower? Oh my gosh my brain is not working this early. Um, and then maybe like some birthday candles that like have some glow-in-the-dark clay so I think that would be fun. But yeah we will go ahead and get started. Okay. Yeah, I think just adding these little birthday candles are just kind of fun. I'm not yet at 30. We're not we're not getting to that age quite yet, but we're getting close, so I just thought the three candles along with the little six flowers makes it look pretty even. So I think I might also just use some more of my like little glow in the dark clay and to add the little still can't remember the word, but eventually I will remember it and probably put it in the captions. Um, but we'll add that and then I think the cake is also good to go. And honestly, I I kind of want to make like a little, like a French baguette. I think that would be really fun. I've been like really into the bakery theme right now. Um, but yeah, I think that would be really cool. Um, I don't know if I want to do it now though because I feel like I'm already pretty short on time because I still need to like take product photos of everything um make all the listings and then have it all ready before Monday which this weekend is already busy anyway because it is my birthday weekend and I'm gonna be doing some family things which is also always really fun but uh, 
and not that I don't love seeing like all my friends and family but yeah it just I mean obviously there's just stuff to do with it which is never a problem go apologies for the shaky camera um the one nice thing I I love my little desk here um it's very cute and I've like got to add like a lot of fun decorations to it but uh the cats especially love running around and playing on it so which again nothing wrong with that I'm glad they have like a little jungle gym to explore and everything but here like we'll we'll take you guys off here for a second and hello Buffington hi buddy yeah he also has been really playful lately and has been loving exploring so <laughs> he has really enjoyed the new desk but let's get back to adding you here you guys didn't mind the ride but let's continue adding our little flowers here and i just need one more and then i think we'll be good with this cake looking so cute <laughs> um i definitely i mean i don't mind working actually i've for the past six years that i've worked in the hospital i'm pretty sure i have either worked my birthday or like pretty close to it um which is very funny but it's also kind of nice because um <clears throat> i mean i still get to obviously celebrate with my family later but then it's nice to also celebrate with your work family but yes cake is done and i think we're gonna work on the french baguette next and then and then yeah i really want to make it um i think i will make that and then probably work on a sticker sheet that I've designed. Um, I'll show you guys in a little bit, but look forward to it. Not sure if this is picking up the best, but they get this little bag at it. It's so cute. Um, I ended up texturing it a lot with some of my tools over here. So I ran that across the baguette to kind of give like the little um, bubble look. I'm not, I'm not describing that correctly, but kind of make it look more like bread. And then I used a little groove here to also add these little, obviously, grooves into the baguette as well to kind of give it that fresh look. So. I think it's looking pretty darn cute and I think I'm just gonna make like a little ghost friend that's holding it and we'll be done with our little bakery theme for this shop up. Okay and I think our little French baguette ghosty is all done. <laughs> I decided I, I tried to do like have the ghost hold it in the front but the baguette is just a little too heavy so I decided to put it on top of its head and it's just carrying it around like a prize so I think that's really fun but another little mini ghost friend that is ready so excited <clears throat> but i think that's all the clay things that i'm going to be making for now because i actually have done quite a bit of new designs and everything so i'm pretty happy with everything as is but we're going to go ahead and bake everything and then i'm going to work on my sticker sheet and hopefully we'll be good for pictures and the listing soon so let's get started okay and now that we've finished our clay making, we're gonna start working on the sticker sheet. So I have my trusty sketchbook here, which I'm so proud of how far I've actually gotten in this. 
Uh, this is honestly the farthest I've made it in a sketchbook before, <laughs> which is maybe a little sad, but also it's fine. Um, but I have already kind of designed some stuff here, so we're just going to go ahead and work on making this little Ghost Academia sticker sheet idea. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is how it's coming along so far. I did all the outline for everything and then added my little ghost wizard friend and I started adding some colors, but I'm getting a little tired. Um, I might just grab the clay stuff because I had put it in the oven while I was starting to sketch here. And I might just try and go ahead and glaze it real quick so that way maybe we can take pictures like within a few hours and maybe take pictures of the other things and then we'll go from there. So here is everything after it's been all baked and looking super cute. I really like it. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of detailing to the box of chocolates one and maybe add like a little white frosting or something to the top of some of them to just give it a little extra detail. But yeah, I'm really excited with how all these turned out. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and add these details to the chocolates though. And I think glazing is done on all of them. We just need to let them dry and then we'll be good to take pictures. So I still think that the little box of chocolates, honestly, all of these are my favorite. I, I really like how all the designs came out. Um, obviously they're all still pretty, like they need to dry quite a bit still from the glazing, but I'll be excited when I can pick them up and they're all shiny and everything. <laughs> uh, definitely, I think I'm gonna keep up with using like the glow in the dark clay for all my little ghosts because it just makes such a fun effect and I, I love that like when I turn my lights off in my office and it's nighttime like you can see like where they're all glowing it's just a lot of fun so I hope that people enjoy that too when they put them up uh, around their house or wherever it might be so
So it is several hours later since I've been working on this, but I have made lots of good progress with the little sticker sheet here. Added in our little ghost wizard pal, a little potion bottle, his cauldron, a little bit of Lucy here, just because she's be represented here as well in our little ghost academia sheet. But yes, I have been having a lot of fun with it. And my favorite in particular is definitely my little, it's like a little reading room scene. I thought it was really fun and magical. Definitely very colorful. But uh, yeah, I thought that would be really fun to make that a part of the sticker sheet as well. So I am getting tired though. So I think I will leave the rest of it for tomorrow probably. I still need to take some product pictures and then edit them and then make them ready for the listings. But yeah, once you have two sleeping kitties on you, you know it's time for bed. So. We will go ahead and rest for the day and start again with renewed energy tomorrow. And then here is a quick preview of all the little product photos that I took for the shop. I think they all came out really cute and really bright actually because it was under the sunlight. So I hope you enjoyed them. I just cut these out with my Cricut, and I think they actually look pretty darn cute. Um, I had to recalibrate it actually because I hadn't cut like in a sticker sheet in quite a while. So it actually got pretty darn good with all the cuts for the like main parts of the sticker sheet. So I'm pretty excited about it. I really hope that people like them because there's my little wizard ghost in his little study space. I thought that was really fun. There's a potion bottle, a little magical book, the wizard ghost himself. Um, there is a little portrait of Lucy because I feel that she's obviously very important to the world as well, including with our ghost academia theme. Um, there is a little cauldron, a little teacup that has kind of a shades of the moon. Shades of the moon? It's late, guys. Sorry. Um, and some little stars just decorated throughout. But yeah, just a very fun little theme, I think. And I hope that people like them. I will probably have to take pictures tomorrow. We'll see. Um, it's kind of late at night. It's like 10.45, so I do also need to get some sleep here soon. But uh, these will be... I will take product photos tomorrow. I will probably just go ahead and include everything that I have so far in the little vlog for tomorrow because I'm still hoping to have the video up by tomorrow morning. So for you guys, this will be Sunday, um, but yeah, I hope that you guys can enjoy it still and look forward to what I did do. So I also need to take pictures and make the listings for these last couple of stickers that were from my convention as well. and then. I don't know whether to put these on the shop or not. Um, these were like some little mystery goodie bags that I had made. And I mean, it's, you could get like a random pin, a random enamel pin, sorry. Uh, like a couple of mystery stickers. And then there was gonna be a like mystery clay item in here as well. And like all together, I think it's like a $20 price, but you, you know, it's obviously a little bit, a little bit more than that with the value and everything, but I don't know if people would be interested in buying that online. Um, if you are, let me know and I will definitely consider listing it. But yeah, I am pretty happy with actually all the work that has been done, considering I kind of got everything ready like at the very last minute. I'm sorry, the cats are running around right now. If you couldn't tell, um, but yeah, I. I'm pretty happy with all the work that's been done for this little shop update and I really hope that everyone will enjoy it and hopefully can bring some new things home for themselves so look forward to it. And then here we are on the shop. I have updated some listings so I actually updated my breakfast time clay ghost so you can kind of see he has been updated with now he just has eggs and bacon because 
I just thought it'd be a little fun to change it up. But yeah, we have some of our clay wizard ghosts. I am actually very low on my little ghost enamel pin. I think I only have maybe one left because that's been actually very popular at all the conventions and everything. So, and I'm hoping very soon that I, probably not for tomorrow, but I am hoping to update another section on the shop that'll include like a little portfolio. So if people are interested or curious about like some of the things that I have drawn or created or anything like that, uh, just kind of a nice little preview for people. So, but yeah, lots of fun things in here. I obviously did some of the product listings, but they're drafts for right now. So you won't be able to see them totally until Monday with the shop update, but looking good so far. And I am definitely getting excited. I hope that people really enjoy what I have put up here for you. And yes, Prince is also having a grand old time just hanging out under the monitor because what else would you do other than that? Oh goodness. But yes, I think that is actually going to be all for today, friends. I have had a good time bringing you along with the journey on getting everything ready for this last minute shop update, as well as just making and crafting all these fun things. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, please feel free to take a look when the shop update does go live tomorrow. Hopefully I will have this posted on Sunday. So it'll be Monday on my birthday, the 22nd of January. Yes. Um, please feel free to check out the shop update and, you know, take some things home if you would like. I am really excited about all the things that I have posted on my shop, so I hope that you enjoy them just as much as I do. And if you like the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment. <laughs> but until next time, I will see you all in the following week, probably. <laughs> have a good day!